all right guys let's get into it this is going to be um a very very scripty tutorial <laughs> we are we're going to write a number of methods but the overall goal is basically to help us be able to spawn um, stars so we'll then proceed in the game script and then we'll start off in the on load section remember that we have on the canvas we have the the ground and the player so we have this guy here this ground as well as the player all right we have them here the ground and the player we also have um, um, the star prefab here okay we also have the star prefab here okay so with that we should be able to spawn in random positions so the first thing we will do is in our on load section okay so we need to obtain the ground so this dot ground um, this dot ground y does not yet exist so we'll click and declare a property there so there we go so this will be equal to this dot ground okay remember we've got the ground so we can get its y position and then we can add okay we can add this dot ground dot height divide by two okay divide by two then this basically is able to to get the position of the ground as well as the height then divides it um, by two so the ground's position on the y-axis plus the ground's height divided by two which is basically the ground's y position in this case negative 294.46 um, plus its height that's divided by two 256 divided by two so that's what we are storing um, in there then next up we'll run we'll call the function that we've not yet created but we'll create it shortly so spawn new star okay so spawn new star is the function that's going to be um, spawning the actual stars so we'll then create I, I personally like to create them here okay so spawn new star okay so this is going to be a simple function that's basically going to be getting our prefab and then instantiating them or creating an instance of them if you're going to be creating games that reuse a number of things you like a number of sprites like let's say you're going to be creating a game that's going to be shooting uh, bullets you will be instantiating the same bullet multiple times right so uh, this is quite a handy method so we'll be instantiating this dot who can guess star prefab because it's the star that we want to to create all right then of course this dot node which refers to the canvas because this script is attached to the canvas this dot node dot add child so to the canvas we'll then be adding a child kind of like these other children okay and then we'll be adding who can guess the new star that we've created right then of course we'll have to set a position for this star where exactly should it be so we need to create a random position for this so we'll create a function set position generally gets the x and the y axis so 
um, in this case we want a random x and y axis so we'll call a function that's going to be giving us a random x and y value so new star position okay so new star position does not exist also so we we'll create it get new star position we'll create it so we'll then have a variable for the random x position which is uh, equal to zero when starting but we'll use a random um, number to generate to generate it okay so then this okay so to generate to generate the y position we'll use the ground we we'll need to know where the ground is because remember the star should not be able to spawn below the ground and that's the thing we're trying to avoid it shouldn't spawn below the ground or even outside these boundaries so those those are just some of the things to um to keep in mind so we'll go on and say um just a moment okay so we'll go on and say this dot ground y okay this dot ground y and then we'll say plus, uh, we'll be adding math.random, math.random gives you a random number, times this dot player. Remember, we know where the player is because we've got the, um, the property here, right? We know the player. So player, this dot player, dot get component okay and then we'll be getting the the player component so the player jumps by okay so we have jump height here Okay, so we'll be getting the player component. Okay, so the player component. Let's see how this player, um, this is small p, this is small p. So I'll keep this on lowercase p. All right, player dot jump height. Okay. Then we'll add we'll add a 50 to it. We'll work around these numbers if this does not look good. Okay. Then the maximum on the x-axis. Okay, so the maximum on the x-axis, remember, um, this dot node refers to the canvas. So the canvas has a width, that width divided by 2. So basically, canvas has a width here, okay, that divided by 2. That's what's going on there. And then, of course, we can uh, go on and um, call the rand x, the one that was defined in 34. Okay. So we'll pass in a random value also math.rand. Okay, then this one is going to be removing 0 0.5 by 2 by the maximum on the x-axis. 
right and then we'll return as a vec2 object so we'll return uh, cc.v2 remember that to, to set the position we need an x and a y position so we'll set rand x as the x position and rand y as the y position so generally this code is fairly easy um, we need a random x position and a random y position um, the random y position needs to be careful in the sense that um, it shouldn't be higher than what the player can jump at least not by that much right then it should also take into consideration the ground the fact that it should not be lower than the ground because um, this guy when we run our simulator um, does not go below this right so if the star spawns down here there's no way this guy can collect it all right then we also need to be careful on the x-axis so the maximum x-axis um, we don't need so this is our game if this spawns somewhere here we won't be able to see where it is if it spawns this side either we won't be able to see that so it needs to be somewhere inside um, this region so this is why uh, we take the width of the node and then divide it by two so that it can be within uh, within that range I don't know if that makes sense but um, that's basically what's trying to be achieved we'll end there in this section um, like subscribe um, check the description um, for additional resources including my uh, Udemy course